Hi everyone in YouTube land. This is part two of the video that I am doing in reference to the review of these cupcakes. And this is the Biddy Stackable, um, I believe it's the Biddy Stackable Birthday Cupcake Set. And so um, I left off where I was pulling out a lot of these cupcakes here. And um, they don't really have... A lot to them they're kind of basic they have a felt like material this is kind of like a hard felt and this is a, a soft felt it's um rather squishy so even though these sets are for um, I believe what is the 18 months plus um, I'm not saying that you should give it to a younger child um, but I do feel like it's fair to give this to some one in your family that might be 18 months old because they are very soft and um, it's not going to hurt if they go flying. <laughs> All right. So again, the stackable part means that you can stack them in their cups for baking. Of course, pretend baking. Um, this is supposed to represent chocolate, and I ended up switching the vanilla white frosting for this pale pink color, which I guess you could say would be a strawberry frosting, and this is like a white cup right here. So the cups are, are different colors, the baking cups. And so the last one here has like a little um, pink rosette on it on some white faux, um, faux, uh, what do you call this <laughs> material felt topping? And, uh, this is a pink cup and this is like a very pale pink cupcake. So you could even say this is like a strawberry cupcake with vanilla icing. And, um, the cool thing about this is this is from years ago. I think this came from another Bitty Baby set. But the best thing about this is that you can mix and match the toppings and you can do a lot of pretend play with a lot of this stuff. So even the box is really nice. It looks very realistic like a box that you would get from a bakery, like a real bakery. So even if you wanted to do some pretend play where you went or pretended to go to a bakery just to get some birthday cupcakes that you're going to order for your bitty baby's party, um, you could do that and you could put a price on the box or put a price on each cupcake. Maybe you could pretend that these are like dairy-free cupcakes. Maybe they're a little bit more expensive, vegan cupcakes. Um, you can, you know, obviously... Uh, decide which of your dolls wants the chocolate cupcake with the strawberry frosting or which one of your dolls wants the the kiwi cupcake um, the kiwi frosting cupcake with the rosette on the top so that would be good for like the birthday girl maybe and the rest of her friends can have their choice of different cupcakes so I do like the playability um, that you get with these sets. Um, I'm not going to say that you get more with this set than you probably wanted, um, simply because it is what it is. It's a cupcake set, so you're not really going to get any more than that. You have to be really creative uh, with what you want to do with it or how you want to interact with it. Um, I do think it's a really cool set. I love the realness or the realistic um, box that you get. I like the fact that if you even wanted to play baker, you could pretend to bake these in a faux oven. And you could get something where you can put the icing, like an icing bag, a faux icing bag on it. And uh, you could decorate it. I like the fact that you can use vocabulary with this. Uh, you could take off all of the frosting tops and ask 
you're a toddler what a plain cupcake would look like versus what a decorated cupcake would look like. Um, so there's lots that you can do. You can pretend that you're the baker and you're handing the set to uh, the customer, whether it's the bitty baby herself or whether it's a uh, older doll or whether it's you who's interacting with these dolls and with these play sets. So um, I think the first thing I look for as a parent um, just from a parent's perspective, I always look to see if my child can do what um, their age group is asking them to do. Like I know toddlers are expected to really be good at stacking because that's something that they should have learned a while ago. So even if they want to stack the cupcakes so that they can see how many they can stack before it topples over, um, that would be a really good interactive activity. Um, Another interactive activity for toddlers around this age would be what's similar about each one of these cupcakes versus what's different. So um, there's a lot of things that you could do with these cupcakes or with this set that would go with a toddler curriculum or a preschool curriculum. Um, so I think just from a collector's point of view, um, as a doll collector, I really do like the fact that you did get a really fancy box that looks like it comes from a real bakery to go with the Biddy Baby outfit. And so because this is a birthday outfit, it's nice to be able to have something just as sleek and, and appropriate that would be a good play item to go with the Biddy Baby collection. So I do like what American Girl is doing for the Biddy Baby line. Again, I do have a problem with the hemline of the new dress that just came out uh, for Biddy Baby. Um, I really feel like for it to be such a pretty dress, they could have done a little bit more with the hemline. But I think overall, the dress is really, really pretty. Um, I think the, the whole outfit is pretty. I think the set that accompanies it is is pretty even though you have to pay separately for this set I do like the fact that it's just as nice as um, the outfit so it's not like you buy a really pretty outfit and then you have to decide if you really want the set or not because maybe it's loud and obnoxious and it doesn't really match anything but I like the fact that it does go with a classic bitty baby birthday dress. This is a birthday dress that I can see being a classic dress that you can use in the future. Um, I remember seeing pictures of dresses like these back in the 1940s and uh, 50s when it came to little girls parties and uh, family parties where you would have like obviously uh, cousins and friends and family members all dressed up and sometimes it would be nice to see what the little girls and the baby girls were wearing um, just because you know those were the dresses that you would see in a lot of the family photos um, when you would look at your aunts and grandmothers and, and whatnot they would be wearing dresses just like that. So I do think that's appropriate for the 35th anniversary. Um, again, it's nothing loud. It's nothing obnoxious. It's just a simple white and pink dress with all kinds of frills and ruffles and tulle. Um, even though the tulle could have been extended um, to go underneath the skirt of the dress, I do realize that this is a play doll. It's for Bitty Baby. Um, Bitty Baby is obviously played with by millions and millions of toddlers and young little girls. So I can see American Girl not wanting to spend a whole lot of money on this set, especially when it came to the baby doll dress. I think they pretty much put their money in this set right here um, that accompanies the birthday set, the birthday um, outfit. So um, I think my dolls are going to be all set. Um, when it comes to celebrating. I'll obviously give this doll back to my youngest now that I'm done with this video and this review. So I hope that you guys like it. If you like the content, go ahead and like and subscribe. 
Um, I am not sponsored by anyone, so this is my own opinion as a doll collector. So I figure this video is for other doll collectors, other people who are thinking about buying the product, and um, people who are trying to get into doll collecting. All right, talk to you guys later.